What's up guys, my name is LRX HD. As most of you guys will know, I want to quickly thank you all for putting me through to the second round of the tournament. It does mean a lot to me. Obviously, doing commentaries and providing gameplays to you guys is something that I really love doing. So, I want to thank you guys for giving me the opportunity to be able to post again. So, quick rundown of this gameplay then before we get into what I want to talk about today. This is uh, all from one gameplay. These first few clips are all from the same gameplay. It's a 40 and 4 I had. It's a pretty decent gameplay. I just picked out some of the bits that I thought were pretty cool. Um, and then the last two clips are going to be some uh, some going hard things. And look at that. Get turned on, son. But anyway, uh, thanks to Smart God Commentaries. And what I want to talk to you guys. So, I want to talk to you guys today about rushing and how you can become a better rusher because I don't know if you guys are like me but at one point I found it really difficult to rush and I found that just creeping around the outside of the map and shooting at people on the inside of the map was probably the best way to go you could use perks to help you you know uh, like blind eye and assassin just to stay off the radar and to basically be able to build a kill streak that's the easiest way to do it the easiest way to build a kill streak is not to get into fair gunfights I've talked about this before previously on my channel a lot and basically you always want to try and have a gunfight in your favor you basically want to have the advantage every time so instead of it being a 50 50 you know two people run into each other maybe you want to be behind some cover and he's not you know that gives you a huge advantage so just something like that is you know that's the way it works so um to become more rushy it really is a slow progress and the only way to do it, I mean, people will give a load of bogus advice, but honestly, the only way to do it is to go out and practice. I highly recommend using a submachine gun. I recommend using um, quick draw, slight hand, and stalker. And I know you guys are saying, oh, yeah, but blind eye, and I can't give up slight hand. But honestly, if you guys just use these things, you'll start to get used to how you would use this gun in this kind of situation. And you just get used to how everything works, really. And then your senses and everything else really start to build up, your map awareness, your spawns, you start to learn all of this stuff a lot more. And you hear a lot of people say that, you know, if all of your teammates are on the top left of the map, make sure you head down to the top right of the map. Just get away from your teammates as much as possible because wherever your teammates are, the enemy is not very likely to be because once they get killed by your teammates, they're going to spawn the other side of the map. Which means, you know, you want to be there ready for when they spawn, but not too far because otherwise you'll flip them back to, a, you know, where they were in the first place. So... That's pretty much the rundown of rushing. You just want to be in their spawn or far away from your teammates. They're generally both the same thing, but make yourself far away from your teammates, keep yourself near the enemy spawn, and you will learn fairly quickly how to rush. It's taken me about three months to be able to go out and get a solid rushing gameplay consistently and you know not have to call everything bullshit and hacks and all this but it really does just come quite easily you just have to be very patient with it and as I always say on my own channel you have to have fun with the game if you don't have fun with the game then you start getting irritated you play very sloppy um, you start missing things you know it's just a massive vicious circle so always make sure you have fun so I want to thank you guys for listening to this commentary I hope you guys take something away from it I've been LRXHD, thanks to Smart Card Commentaries, and as always, make sure you guys have a really great day. Please leave a like for Smart Card Commentaries. Cheers. Hey, what is going on, guys? ProMHD here, and today we have our second um, entry into the Smart Card Commentaries um, Commentator Showdown thingy. Um, thank you for everyone who voted for it in the first round. Uh, big thanks to you guys. Uh, we're not sure who we're against um, in this round, but good luck to them. And basically, guys, I'm, I might be speaking, me and Henry will be speaking quite fast because, um, yeah, we don't have much time. I think it's four, four and a half minutes or something like that. And, guys, as, as always, there's bloopers at the end, funny things at the end, and they're different this time. Yay, they're different. Woo! Party, right. So, um, in this uh, short commentary, me and Henry talk about what we would like to see in Black Ops 2. Henry, talk about the gameplay. Okay, so, hi, guys. Um, today, this gameplay is a 3 minute 50 something. Mo 3v3 Moab on Erosion, and I'm using a gold MP7 uh, rapid fire. Yeah, it's pretty big. Okay. Um. So yeah, Henry, do you want to say what? Do you want to say your point first? What you'd like to see, or do you yeah, want me okay. to? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So um, I'm going to talk about um the DLC, like the releases that they give us and the interaction that the developers bring to the community, kind of. Um, so I think that the DLC should probably be released maybe every 30 days, which it is kind of, but they kind of, they made a schedule at the start where they didn't really stick to it, so I think they need to work on the interaction with the, with the community, but then yeah. again, they have just released a poll, well it's just finished now, but they re released a poll on 
what game mode we want to see and uh, at the moment guys it looks like we're going to be getting a sniper only lobby or no yeah. snipers at all lobby that 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 sounds good because um when i get reno i'm like a 23 20 24 kill streak 23 kill streak sorry one more kill from over and then i just get no scoped it's just annoying as hell there mm -hmm. yeah so uh, i think it was also good for mlg and game battles and stuff like that because then no one can like be a noob and there was uh, another one with mlg um competitive rules but no one really wanted it so i don't think yeah. that'll come back that might come back in black ops too but yeah yeah so it's, it's basically better for everyone i suppose yeah so, so um, my thanks for that point. very interesting um okay. lol. Uh, my point now i would like to see bigger maps and um because the maps i would like to see bigger maps i'd also like to see vehicles introduced now we've never seen this in any of the call of duties but um yeah if you could like pole x to get into a vehicle maybe like a plane or a helicopter and like you know you can fly around the map yeah there are some mods on mod on cod 4 actually that you can get where like you can fly around fly around the map and shoot people which is pretty fun but um yeah like people can get in your helicopter too you can have a lot of funny kill cams jumping off helicopters it'd be good for everyone really and so yeah you can fly around shooting people um and tanks maybe cars i don't know anything that would be a great idea to introduce a bit like battlefield but keep the everything like like the aiming system and all that the system they run on already just introduce vehicles and bigger maps i think a bit like battlefield so yeah, yeah that's the but definitely like, not not like battlefield because i hate that game i can't play it yeah well you know, yeah i know but i think if, if cod wants to in like make their fan base bigger they need yeah. to introduce more things and it's been very the game has been very similar um to be honest so i think there's something yeah. i hope i hope um for a lot of people that uh for a lot of people's sake that um there's something new introduced in Block Ops 2, I guess, and like there's something new and um, yeah. interesting to but they don't see. Want, they don't want to go stupid with it because people like Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, yeah. and they and went down a massive hit, but I'm not sure Modern yeah. Warfare 4, whatever you want to call it, there's more. Will, oh, Modern Warfare 4 will come down as well as these two games have because yeah. they're getting repetitive and annoying. So Okay, um, right, so that it guys hope you enjoyed please vote for whoever you thought you uh whoever you thought when i guess good luck to the guy we're facing and enjoy the bloopers peace out have a nice day see ya okay henry fine you can do the intro okay because I'm, I'm kind of failing here okay so henry five fine. four three two fucking one work this time please go <laughs> you fucking re henry you eat some sort of crescent or something why can't you bloody say what is going on guys oh my god crescent. right go then you go ha huh, no way well, well, the over the MP7 is actually overpowered, I think. But Henry, yeah, your mum's overpowered. Now I have to do it all over the fucking again, James. Oh, unlucky, mate. <laughs> Where? Okay.